Hey, what's going on guys? Today we are talking about the WWE version one spinner belt. Now, I never wanted one of these in the past. I thought they were the ugliest belts in the world. But then along came some other ugly titles in the world, and this one wasn't so bad. First thing I want to say is I got this belt off of uh, Mark Maggard in one of the belt groups. I'm not sure exactly which belt group it was, but I got it off him. I paid for it, and he shipped it, I think, the next day, and I think it was here in two days. So thank you so much for Mark. Mark does a re-leathering service at Mark to Leather championship belt releathers on Facebook uh, of course it will be on the screen you guys will be able to see it it will also be in the comment section below but Mark to leather I think the leather is really really good he's a great guy who does leather so highly highly recommend him and also be sure to check him out so let's talk about the spinner butt a little bit the spinner butt was debuted by John Cena in uh, I think 2005 right after he won the WWE title from JBL then he brought this thing into the world and I think this thing was around for like eight years or so, something like that. You know, it was born with John Cena and died with The Rock. So, and then after that, that new version one or that new WWE Scratch logo debuted. Originally, this belt had the SmackDown side plate uh, when John Cena had it. When the replicas started coming out, they came with a Monday Night Raw side plate. And now the replicas only have WWE champion on the side it's pretty cool that mark had one of these because i was looking for one of these a couple weeks ago and the ones i found they had red backing they had green backing and i didn't want like any colored backing on the back of the belt i wanted black and lo and behold mark had one so i had to buy it one thing i was never a fan of with this belt was a spinner so that's why i stopped i stopped it from spinning all you do is get like a little piece of paper or like a business card and wedge it right there in between so now it won't spin. Pretty cool. I started really liking this belt around the time CM Punk had the belt. You know, I was a big CM Punk fan. So of course when he won it from John Cena at Money in the Bank, I was like, mm, hell yeah. And then of course when he held out of this title for that illustrious 434 days, man, I really thought this belt was really, really awesome. So I really, really wanted one for a while. And now I got one. Like I said, this is the WWE Spinner um, version one. And you know it's the version one because it has the Monday Night Raw side plate right there. Because now the spinners have just the WWE Champion side plate on both sides. This one has the Monday Night Raw. And like I said, I stopped the spin. All you do is take a small business card or something like that. Cut it up. I'll put some uh, video into this. And you just wedge it right there at the bottom. And it stops it from spinning. You could, you could still spin it. But it's going to take a little bit more effort. And like I said earlier, it was re-leathered by Mark himself. Backing on the belt. Mark did his own style, his own way. I think it looks good. It feels good. He put marked leather right there on the side. Snap box. Mike said, I really only bought this belt because CM Punk had it. It doesn't really go with my collection all that well because I like the older belts. I mean, if anybody ever wants a spinner, let me know. I got one. We leathered and everything. And Mark only charged me $300 for the belt, which is crazy because you can't even get pretty much a re-leather done for that price. The belt alone probably costs 300 bucks, plus a re-leather. If anybody is ever in the market for a WWE spinner, all you gotta do is hit your boy up, and I got one, so now that I have the spinner belt, there's only one place for this to go, and it's not on my wall.